What is up YouTube, James Polk here, and Synchro Festival event has come upon us. Now, as for the deck profile for this event, obviously, I know what everyone is thinking. Why aren't you running any Synchros? That is because 99% of the time is where tuners, most likely hand traps, are pretty much going to be used as hand traps like you will literally never synchro summon by using uh, the hand traps in any shape or form but if anyone can ever do that salute to you guys congratulations on that one anywho for the synchro festival deck that I played to showcase yes ever since holding on to 9,000 gems and cashed in one of the two decks from that pack and what way to settle it with a control deck known as the weather so the mission of the deck is you pretty much gotta focus on the weather spells and traps and you also gotta learn about the column and the adjacent of the columns to gain those supernatural effects based on whatever spell or trap is there. All you gotta do is control the board and gain massive advantage. You just straight up win. And then as for the deck profile, three snow, three rain, two cloud, one sun, and three thunders. Oh, and Aurora. So, the snow, you rather see snow the most because what she does is on summon, uh, normal summon, place one weather spell trap from your deck face up in your spell trap zone. And always note that before you get to the normal summon, if you open up any at least the weather spells like one to two of them mainly snowy canvas as well this lets you dodge literally any hand traps that isn't ash and then the three rain for weather painter rain what she does is if she specialed in any shape or form place one weather Spell trap from hand face up in your spell trap zone. And then the triple rain is nice, especially where if I'm missing a weather spell or trap in the hand, and if I refuse to set it, I could just straight up activate it from the get go. And then the two cloud, uh, that's for the recursion of your weather spell traps. What he does is. If another face up the weather card, monster spell or trap included, you control gets sent to the graveyard, doesn't matter how, you can target up to two weather spell traps in your graveyard, place them back face up in your spell trap zone. So in any instance throughout the whole entire game is where like my opponents were to Twin Twister or Harpy's Feather Duster, same with Lightning Storm while the cloud is out. I'm just like, okay, thank you for wasting your back row removal for nothing. I'm just going to place those cards back. And then the one sun. As for the sun, uh, really wasn't seen that much. But overall, he's uh, pretty much of an okay card of sorts. What sun does is, if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one face up, continuous spell trap. You control to the graveyard. Does it gotta be weather spell traps, by the way, to special the sun in defense. And if you do, place one weather spell trap from your hand face up in your spell trap zone. And then thunder. Thunder is essentially your brotherhood of the fire fist rooster of the archetype. But the difference is instead of setting it in terms of replacement, that replacement card gets straight up activated 
into or not necessarily activated but straight up placed into your spell trap zone face up in other words send one face up continuous spell trap you control to the grave place one weather spell trap from your deck face up in your spell trap zone and then aurora here which is the real boss of the main deck version of the archetype when this card is normal summon place one weather spell trap from hand deck or graveyard face up in your spell trap zone and she is literally dark magician the dragon knight of the archetype your opponent cannot target or kill the weather spells and traps i control within card effects and if they don't do anything to get rid of aurora in any way then chances are i'm basically going to control the board and just win the game with the snowy rainy and thunder canvas spells in any way and then the hand traps uh three ash and then two bell this card is amazing no questions asked and then for the spell lineup raigeki harpy's feather duster three magic planners now before anyone say anything about why there is no prosperity first of all you can't use prosperity in the synchro format so instead of prosperity i added in magic planners and when it comes to magic planners what this does is send one face a continuous trap you control to the grave draw two cards so cool interaction with cloud is that whenever you have one of your continuous traps up you can send one of the weather continuous traps draw your two and then cloud can just place it right back so essentially you're getting major pluses and then as for the canvases for the spells three snow two rain one cloud one sun the three snowy canvas literally the best one stratos of all the weather cards rainy canvas compulses your opponent's spell traps compulses one of them and then cloudy canvas cloudy can come up whenever they have higher attack up for the sake of the value and as long as i have multiple weather monsters i could just shrink them down to size and then just go to work and then sunny canvas even though uh ideally it's not that good i'd still play one of it only for the sake of thunder's effects to replace the sunny with something else in any way and then the traps three judgments three skill drain this is your win condition card of the deck and then two thundery canvas one aurora canvas and the rainbow weather the weather rainbow canvas so as for the canvas traps thunder at the start of the damage step if this card battles an opponent's monster return that opponent's monster to the hand obviously they share the same thing in terms of banishing the weather monsters to gain the supernatural effects and then aurora canvas here it's not that ideal when it comes to aurora canvas and it's not because of the deck outs in any shape or form the idea with the, that canvas is if they drew or added something that is extra good from deck to hand while I have the Aurora canvas up, I could just rip that searched card or the card they drew to the banished pile and then that player draws one. And then even though the only thing sucks is uh, opponent draws one too, but the ideal about Aurora canvas is that it's only for the magic planner. And then one canvas, we all know what's up with rainbow canvas literally e telly of the deck archetype 
And with that being said, this is James Polk once again on Synchro Festival event for the Weather Archetype. If you love to see more action in the near future involving the weather, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated, and I'll catch you guys next time.